en otro orden de ideas, les platico un trío de mujeres afroamericanas, Guerra Fría, una carrera espacial en los 60s. Estos son los elementos de talentos ocultos. Hoy en día, nominada a tres premios de la Academia, incluida Mejor Actriz de Reparto para Octavia Spencer. Estas son las declaraciones de sus protagonistas. Con el premio SAC a Mejor Elenco en una cinta dramática y tres nominaciones al Oscar bajo el brazo, llega este fin de semana la cinta Talento Oculto, que está dispuesta a motivar a todo el mundo. La ganadora del Oscar, Octavia Spencer, relata. Los Ocultos nos presenta a Katherine Johnson, Dorothy Bagnan y Mary Jackson, tres mujeres afroamericanas que son completamente desconocidas en la historia americana, pero que fueron vitales para el éxito del programa Mercury en los 60 y permitieron el triunfo de Estados Unidos en la carrera espacial de la Guerra Fría. Actually thought it was historical fiction because I'd never heard of it. And um, I then, when I realized it was a, a true story, I knew that I had to be a part of its telling. I was always told math and science was for boys, um, so I never dreamed that dream. I thought it didn't belong to me, and here, <laughs> here it is. Women were very integral, played very integral parts in putting men, men on the moon, in yeah. orbiting space, and in the space. Very integral part in why we even have a NASA program. Um, and so I was very upset, and I, I felt like a great responsibility to tell this story, because it is a very important part of history that's been missing. I'm so excited to celebrate these women, these true American heroes. They, their genius uh, transcended race and gender. And now we have superheroes that a young girls uh, will have the opportunity to know about, and they won't uh, not know about these women like, like we, you know, unfortunately. And they're didn't. real, and their magical yeah. power is their brains. Yeah, <laughs> brilliance yes. is celebrated. 50 million people are watching this launch. Esta inspiradora historia la puedes disfrutar en los cines de todo el país a partir de este viernes. Informó para imagen Enrique Solórzano.